Arunachal Pradesh, the land of Dong Lit Mountains, is one of the 29 states of India and is the northeasternmost state of the country. Arunachal Pradesh borders the states of Assam and Nagaland to the south and shares international borders with Bhutan in the west, Myanmar in the east and is separated from China in the north by the McMahon Line. Itanagar is the capital of the state. A major part of the state is claimed by the Republic of China, and the People's Republic of China referring to it as South Tibet. During the 1962 Sino-Indian War, Chinese forces temporarily crossed McMahon Line, the border line between the state and China. Land of the Don Lit Mountains is the sobriquet for the state in Sanskrit. It is also known as the Orchid State of India or the Paradise of the Botanists. Geographically, it is the largest of the seven sister states of Northeast India. History Early history the history of pre-modern Arunachal Pradesh is unclear. According to the Arunachal Pradesh government, the Hindu texts Mahabharata mention the region as the Prabhu Mountains of the Puranas, and where sage Parashurama washed away sins, the sage Vyasa meditated, King Bhishmaka founded his kingdom, and Lord Krishna married his consort Rukmini. On the other hand, the Kalika Purana written in the 10th century mentions the region to be ruled by the descendants of a king named Burmuko of the Chudika today's Chudia clan. Recorded history only became available in the Chudia chronicles. The Manpa and Sherdukpen do keep historical records of the existence of local chiefdoms in the northwest as well. Northwestern parts of this area came under the control of the Manpa kingdom of Manuel, which flourished between 500 BC and 600 AD. The remaining parts of the state, especially those bordering Myanmar, were under the control of the Chudia kings. However, most Arunachali tribes remained in practice largely autonomous up until Indian independence and the formalization of indigenous administration in 1947. Recent excavations of ruins of Hindu temples, such as the 14th century Malanathan at the foot of the Siang Hills in West Siang, indicate they were built during the Chudia reign. Another notable heritage site, Bismagnagar, built in 8th century, has led to suggestions that the Chudia people had an advanced culture and administration in prehistoric times. The third heritage site, the 400-year-old Tawang Monastery in the extreme northwest of the state, provides some historical evidence of the Buddhist tribal people. The sixth Dalai Lama Sangyang Gyatso was born in Tawang. The main archaeological sites of the state include Tawang Monastery, Tawang, built by Marek Lama Lodri Gyatso in 1680-1681. Malanathan Temple, Lykabali, built by Chudia King Lakshmanarian in the 15th century. Durang Di Zong, West Kameng, built by Monfa in the 17th century. Ida Fort, Itanagar, built by Chudia Kings in the 14th century. Damachung Batali, West Kameng, built in the 13th century. Bismagnagar Fort, Rowing, built by Chudia kings in the 8th century. Tezu Fort, Tezu, built by Chudia kings in the 13th century. Bolung Fort, Bolung, built by Chudia kings in the 13th century. Gamshi Fort, East Siang, built by Chudia kings in the 13th century. Rukmini Fort, Rowing, built by Chudia kings in the 13th century. Nakshap Parbat Ruins, East Kameng, built by Chudia kings in the 14th century. Drawing of McMahon Line In 1913-1914 representatives of China, Tibet and Britain met in India ending with the Simla Accord with Tibetan and British representatives agreeing on the McMahon Line. However, the Chinese representatives refused the territory negotiation. This treaty's objective was to define the borders between Inner and Outer Tibet as well as between Outer Tibet and British India. British administrator, Sir Henry McMahon, drew up the 550 miles 890 kilometers McMahon Line as the border between British India and Outer Tibet during the Simla Conference. The Tibetan and British representatives at the conference agreed to the line, and Tawang and other areas ceded to the British Empire. Since the British were not able to get an acceptance from China, Chinese considered the McMahon line invalid. The Tibetan and British governments went ahead with the Simla Agreement and declared that the benefits of other articles of this treaty would not be bestowed on China as long as it stays out of the purview. 
Tibet administered its territory until 1950. The Chinese position was that Tibet was not independent from China, Tibet could not have independently signed treaties, and for the Anglo-Chinese and Anglo-Russian conventions, any such agreement was invalid without Chinese assent. However, with the collapse of Chinese power in Tibet, the line had no serious challenges as Tibet had signed the convention. In 1935, a deputy secretary in the Foreign Department Olaf Karo discovered that McMahon Line was not drawn on official maps. The Survey of India published a map showing the McMahon Line as the official boundary in 1937. In 1938, the British finally published the Simla Convention as a bilateral accord two decades after the Simla Conference. In 1938, the Survey of India published a detailed map showing Tawang as part of Northeast Frontier Agency. In 1944, Britain established administrations in the area from Durang Dzong in the west to Walong in the east. The situation developed further as India became independent in 1947 and the People's Republic of China PRC was established in 1949. In November 1950, with the PRC poised to take over Tibet by force, India showed support for the Tibetan government to some extent irking the Chinese government. The McMahon line was considered invalid by the Chinese government. Journalist Sudha Ramachandran argued that China claims Tawang on behalf of Tibetans and Tibetans are not claiming Tawang to be Tibetan territory. The Dalai Lama was upset over Mao's cultural revolution, which affected Tibet seriously. In January 2007, he said that in 1914 both the Tibetan government and Britain recognized the McMahon line. In 2008, he said that Arunachal Pradesh was a part of India under the agreement signed by Tibetan and British representatives. According to the Dalai Lama, in 1962 during the India-China War, the People's Liberation Army (PLA) occupied all these areas, Arunachal Pradesh, but they announced a unilateral ceasefire and withdrew, accepting the current international boundary. Sino-Indian War. The NIFA Northeast Frontier Agency, was created in 1954. The issue was quiet for nearly a decade, with a period of cordial Sino-Indian relations, but its resurgence in 1960 was a factor leading to the Sino-Indian border conflict of 1962. During the war in 1962, China captured most of the area of Arunachal Pradesh. However, China soon declared victory, withdrew back to the McMahon Line and returned Indian prisoners of war in 1963. It is believed by some commentators that Mao wanted to intimidate India for its continued support of the Dalai Lama, and for its stance on Tibet being an independent state and not a Chinese territory. There was a significant influx of Tibetan refugees into India, primarily to Dharamshala in North India. The war resulted in the termination of barter trade with Tibet, although since 2007 the Indian government has shown signs of wanting to resume barter trade. Tawang. In recent years, China has occasionally made statements in conjunction with its claims on Tawang. India has rebutted these claims by the Chinese government and the Indian Prime Minister has informed the Chinese government that Tawang is an integral part of India. India reiterated this to the Chinese Prime Minister when the two Prime Ministers met in Thailand in October 2009. It was reported that during 2016, the Chinese army had briefly invaded Arunachal Pradesh. This was rebutted by the Minister of State for Home Affairs, Kiran Rijiju. Later, in April 2017, a publicized visit to Tawang by the Dalai Lama, and an earlier visit by the U.S. Ambassador to India, was strongly objected to by China and is thought to have strained Indo-China relations. China has previously also objected to the Dalai Lama's visits to the area. Current name NIFA was renamed as Arunachal Pradesh by Sri Bibabasu Das Shastri, the then Director of Research and KAA Raja, the then Chief Commissioner of Arunachal Pradesh on 20 January 1972, and it became a Union Territory. Arunachal Pradesh became a state on 20 February 1987. 
More recently, Arunachal Pradesh has come to face threats from certain insurgent groups, notably the National Socialist Council of Nagaland NSCN, who are believed to have base camps in the districts of Changling and Tirup. These groups intend to decrease the influence of Indian government in the region and want to merge a few territories of Arunachal Pradesh into Nagaland. Especially along the Tibetan border, the Indian army has a considerable presence due to concerns about Chinese intentions in the region. Special permits called Inner Line Permits ILP, are required to enter Arunachal Pradesh through any of its checkgates on the border with Assam. China renamed six places in Arunachal Pradesh in 2017 and since then these new names started to appear in Chinese maps. Politics Arunachal Pradesh suffered political crisis between April 2016 and December 2016. The Indian National Congress Chief Minister Nabam Tuki replaced Jarbam Gamlan as the Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh on 1 November 2011 and continued until January 2016. After a political crisis in 2016, President S. Rule was imposed ending his tenure as the Chief Minister. In February 2016, Kaliko Pul became the Chief Minister when 14 disqualified MLAs were reinstated by the Supreme Court. On 13 July 2016, the Supreme Court quashed the Arunachal Pradesh Governor J. P. Reichau's order to advance the Assembly session from 14 January 2016 to 16 December 2015, which resulted in President's rule in Arunachal Pradesh. As a result, Nabam Tuki was reinstated as the Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh on 13 July 2016. But hours before floor test, he resigned as the Chief Minister on 16 July 2016. He was succeeded by Pema Khandu as the INC Chief Minister who later joined PPA in September 2016 along with majority of MLAs. Pema Khandu further joined BJP in December 2016 along with majority of MLAs. Arunachal Pradesh becomes second NAE state to achieve ODF status. Geography Arunachal Pradesh is located between 26.28 degrees north and 29.30 degrees north latitude and 91.20 degrees east and 97.30 degrees east longitude and has an area of 83,743 square kilometers 32,333 square miles. The topography rapidly rises to 7,000 meters at its highest peak. Kangti, Nyagi Kangsang, the main Gorichan Peak and the eastern Gorichan Peak are some of the highest peaks in this region of the Himalayas. Numerous river valleys dissect the precipitous terrain of Arunachal. Some of the major rivers are Kamang, Sabansiri, Siang, Dabang, Lohet and Noa Dying rivers. Mountains until the Siang River are classified under the eastern Himalayas mountain range. Between the Siang River and the Noah Dying River is classified as the Mishmi Hills that may be part of the Hengduan Shan, but the true extents of these mountains is unclear. South of the Noah Dying and Tirup and Longding districts, these mountains are parts of the Putkai Range. The rivers are fed by immense abundance of forest cover that absorb moisture and transfer it to subsurface flows. Summer melt water from snow caps also contribute to the volume of water. Either or both Dong Basti and Vijayanagar Basti in Arunachal Pradesh receives the first morning sun rays in the entire country, as the easternmost village of the country. The mountain ranges in Arunachal Pradesh are described as the place where the sun rises in historical Indian texts and named the Aruna Mountains. Climate The climate of Arunachal Pradesh varies with elevation. The low altitude 100 to 1500 meters areas have a humid subtropical climate. High altitude and very high altitude areas 3500 to 5500 meters have a subtropical highland climate and alpine climate. Arunachal Pradesh receives 2000 to 5000 millimeters 79 to 197 in of rainfall annually, 70 to 80% obtained between May and October. Biodiversity In the year 2000 Arunachal Pradesh was covered with 63,093 square kilometers 24,360 square miles of tree cover, 77% of its land area. 
Arunachal's forests account for one-third of habitat area within the Himalayan biodiversity hot spot. In 2013, 31,273 square kilometers (12,075 square miles) of Arunachal's forests were identified as part of a vast area of continuous forests (65,730 square kilometers or 25,380 square miles), including forests in Myanmar, China, and Bhutan, known as intact forest landscapes. It harbors over 5,000 plants, about 85 terrestrial mammals, over 500 birds and a large number of butterflies, insects and reptiles. At the lowest elevations, essentially at Arunachal Pradesh's border with Assam, are Brahmaputra Valley semi-evergreen forests. Much of the state, including the Himalayan foothills and the Putkai Hills, are home to eastern Himalayan broadleaf forests. Toward the northern border with Tibet, with increasing elevation, come a mixture of eastern and northeastern Himalayan subalpine conifer forests followed by eastern Himalayan alpine shrub and meadows and ultimately rock and ice on the highest peaks. It supports a large number of medicinal plants and within Zero Valley of Lower Sabansiri District 158 medicinal plants are being used by its inhabitants. The mountain slopes and hills are covered with alpine, temperate, and subtropical forests of dwarf rhododendron, oak, pine, maple and fir. The state has Maoling and Namdapa National Parks. Districts Arunachal Pradesh is divided into 22 districts, each administered by a district collector. The districts are Major towns Below are the major towns in Arunachal Pradesh. Municipal Councils Itanagar Municipal Council for Greater Itanagar Pasighat Municipal Council Municipal Boards Notified Towns Economy the chart below displays the trend of the gross state domestic product of Arunachal Pradesh at market prices by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation with figures in billions of Indian rupees. Arunachal Pradesh's gross state domestic product was estimated at $706 million at current prices in 2004 and $1.75 billion at current prices in 2012. Agriculture primarily drives the economy. Jum, the local term used for shifting cultivation is being widely practiced among the tribal groups, though owing to the gradual growth of other sources of income in the recent years, it is not being practiced as prominently as it was earlier. Arunachal Pradesh has close to 61,000 square kilometers of forests, and forest products are the next most significant sector of the economy. Among the crops grown here are rice, maize, millet, wheat, pulses, sugarcane, ginger, and oilseeds. Arunachal is also ideal for horticulture and fruit orchards. Its major industries are rice mills, fruit preservation and processing units, and handloom handicrafts. Sawmills and plywood trades are prohibited under law. There are many sawmills in AP. Arunachal Pradesh accounts for a large percentage share of India's untapped hydroelectric potential. In 2008, the government of Arunachal Pradesh signed numerous memorandum of understanding with various companies planning some 42 hydroelectric schemes that will produce electricity in excess of 27,000 megawatts. Construction of the Upper Siang Hydroelectric Project, which is expected to generate between 10,000 and 12,000 megawatts, began in April 2009. Demographics Arunachal Pradesh can be roughly divided into a set of semi-distinct cultural spheres, on the basis of tribal identity, language, religion and material culture, the Tibetic area bordering Bhutan in the west, the Tani area in the center of the state, the Mishmi area to the east of the Tani area, the Thai Tsingfolk Tangsa area bordering Myanmar, and the Naga area to the south, which also borders Myanmar. In between there are transition zones, such as the aka, Russo, Miji, Cherdukpen area, which provides a buffer of sorts between the Tibetan Buddhist tribes and the animist Tani Hill tribes. In addition, there are isolated peoples scattered throughout the state, such as the Suling. 
Within each of these cultural spheres, one finds populations of related tribes speaking related languages and sharing similar traditions. In the Tibetic area, one finds large numbers of Monpa tribespeople, with several subtribes speaking closely related but mutually incomprehensible languages, and also large numbers of Tibetan refugees. Within the Tani area, major tribes include the Naishi. Apatani also live among the Naishi, but are distinct. In the center, one finds predominantly Gallo people, with the major sub-groups of Karka, Lodu, Bogum, Lair and Pugo among others, extending to the Ramo and Palibo areas, which are close in many ways to Gallo. In the east, one finds the Adi with many subtribes including Padam, Pasi, Minyong and Bokar, among others. Milling, while also falling within the general Adi sphere, are in many ways quite distinct. Moving east, the Idu, Miju and Dagaru make up the Mishmi, cultural linguistic area, which may or may not form a coherent historical grouping. Moving southeast, the Thai Kampi are linguistically distinct from their neighbors and culturally distinct from the majority of other Arunachalese tribes. They follow the Theravada sect of Buddhism. They also exhibit considerable convergence with the Singfo and Tangsa tribes of the same area, all of which are also found in Burma. The Comptas and Singfos have a huge demographic presence even in the neighboring state of Assam, in places viz. Naharkadia, Narayanpur of Lakimpur districts of Assam. They one of the most recent people group migrated to Arunachal region from Burma and Assam. The Nakta and Wancho are another two major ethnic tribes. Both the tribes exhibit very much cultural similarities. Finally the Diori tribe is also a major community in the state, with their own distinctive identity. They are the descendants of the priestly class of Chutia people who were allowed to continue their livelihood after the defeat of the Chutias. Dioris are one of the only Arunachal tribe in the historical records which shows they are among the first ethnic groups to inhabit the Himalayas of the districts of Dabang Valley and Lohat, before the arrival of other many tribes in the region between 1600 and 1900. Literacy has risen in official figures to 66.95% in 2011 from 54.74% in 2001. The literate population is said to number 789,943. The number of literate males is 454,532, 73.69%, and the number of literate females is 335,411, 59.57%. Religion An uncertain but relatively large percentage of Arunachal's population are nature worshippers indigenous religions, and follow their own distinct traditional institutions like the Nidar Namlo by the Naishi, the Rangfra by the Tangsa and Nakta, Medar Melo by the Apatani, the Kargugamji by the Gallo and Dani Polo Deer by the Adi under the umbrella of the indigenous religion the Dani Polo. A small number of Arunachali people have traditionally identified as Hindus, although the number may grow as animist traditions are merged with Hindu traditions. Tibetan Buddhism predominates in the districts of Tawang, West Kameng, and isolated regions adjacent to Tibet. Theravada Buddhism is practiced by groups living near the Burmese border. Around 30% of the population are followers of the Christian faith. According to the 2011 Indian census, the religions of Arunachal Pradesh break down as follows Christian, 418,732, 30.26%, Hindu, 401,876, 29.04%, others, mostly Dani Polo, 362,553, 26.2%, Buddhist, 162,815, 11.76%, Muslim, 27,045, 1.9%, Sikh, 1,865, 0.1%, Jain, 216, out of the 101 recognized tribes, 37 have an animist majority, Naishi, Gallo, Tagan, Adi Minyong, Adi, Apatani Dot etc., 23 have a Christian majority, Wancho, Masang Tangsa, Bori, Lisu or Yobin Dot etc., 15 have a Hindu majority, Mishmi, Mishing, Miri. Diori, aka, Longchang Tangsa Dot etc., and 17 have a Buddhist majority, Monpa, Kampti, Tawang Monpa, Mamba, Singfo, Sherdukpen Dot etc. The remaining eight tribes are multi-faith, i.e., they do not have a dominant religion, Nakta, Tangsa, Naga Dot etc. Languages Modern-day Arunachal Pradesh is one of the linguistically richest and most diverse regions in all of Asia, being home to at least 30 and possibly as many as 50 distinct languages in addition to innumerable dialects and subdialects thereof. 
Boundaries between languages very often correlate with tribal divisions, for example, the Apatani and Naishi are tribally and linguistically distinct, but shifts in tribal identity and alignment over time have also ensured that a certain amount of complication enters into the picture, for example, the Gallo language is and has seemingly always been linguistically distinct from Adi, whereas the earlier tribal alignment of Gallo with Adi, i.e., Adi Galong, has only recently been essentially dissolved. The vast majority of languages indigenous to modern-day Arunachal Pradesh belong to the Tibeto-Burman family. The majority of these in turn belong to a single branch of Tibeto-Burman, namely Abo-Tani language. Almost all Tani languages are indigenous to central Arunachal Pradesh, including, moving from west to east, the Naishi, the Apatani, the Tagan, the Gallo, the Bokar, the Adi, the Padam, the Pasi, and the Minyong. The Tani languages are noticeably characterized by an overall relative uniformity, suggesting relatively recent origin and dispersal within their present-day area of concentration. Most of the Tani languages are mutually intelligible with at least one other Tani language, meaning that the area constitutes a dialect chain, as was once found in much of Europe. Only Apatani and Milling stand out as relatively unusual in the Tani context. Tani languages are among the better studied languages of the region. To the east of the Tani area lie three virtually undescribed and highly endangered languages of the Mishmi group of Tibeto-Burman, Idu, Dagaru and Miju. A number of speakers of these languages are also found in Tibet. The relationships of these languages, both amongst one another and to other area languages, are as yet uncertain. Further south, one finds the Singfo Kachin language, which is primarily spoken by large populations in Myanmar's Kachin state, and the Nakta and Wancho languages, which show affiliations to certain Naga languages spoken to the south in modern-day Nagaland. To the west and north of the Tani area are found at least one and possibly as many as four Bodic languages, including Dakpa and Changla language, within modern-day India. These languages go by the cognate but, in usage, distinct designations Manpa and Memba. Most speakers of these languages are closely related Bodic languages are found in neighboring Bhutan and Tibet, and Manpa and Memba populations remain closely adjacent to these border regions. Between the Bodic and Tani areas lie a large number of almost completely undescribed and unclassified languages, which, speculatively considered Tibeto-Burman, exhibit many unique structural and lexical properties that probably reflect both a long history in the region and a complex history of language contact with neighboring populations. Among them are Sherdukpen, Bagoon, aka, Russo, Koro, Miji, Bangru and Paroit, Suling. The high linguistic significance these languages is belied by the extreme paucity of documentation and description of them, even in view of their highly endangered status. Paroik, in particular, is perhaps one of the most culturally and linguistically unique and significant populations in all of Asia from proto-historical and anthropological linguistic perspectives, and yet virtually no information of any real reliability regarding their culture or language can be found in print. Finally, other than the Bodic and Tani groups, there are also certain migratory languages which are largely spoken by migratory and central government employees serving in the state in different departments and institutions in modern-day Arunachal Pradesh. They are classified as non-tribal as per the provisions of the Constitution of India. Outside of Tibeto-Burman, one finds in Arunachal Pradesh a single representative of the Thai family, spoken by tribes like the Kampti and Singpho, which is closely affiliated to the Shan language of Myanmar's Shan state. Seemingly, Kampti is a recent arrival in Arunachal Pradesh whose presence dates to 18th and or early 19th century migrations from northern Myanmar. In addition to these non-Indo-European languages, the Indo-European languages Assamese, Bengali, English, Nepali and especially Hindi are making strong inroads into Arunachal Pradesh. Primarily as a result of the primary education system, in which classes are generally taught by Hindi-speaking immigrant teachers from Bihar and other Hindi-speaking parts of northern India, a large and growing section of the population now speaks a semi-creolized variety of Hindi as a mother tongue. Hindi acts as a lingua franca for most of the people in the state. Despite, or perhaps because of, the linguistic diversity of the region, English is the only official language recognized in the state. 
The speakers of major languages of the state according to the 2001 census are Naishi 208,337, Adi 193,379, Bengali 97,149, Nepali 94,919, Hindi 81,186, Manpa 55,428, Assamese 51,551, Wancho 48,544, Tangsa 30 34,231, Mishmi 33,522, Mishing 33,381, Nakta 32,591, and others 64,711. Transport Air Itanagar Airport, a greenfield project serving Itanagar is being planned at Holongi at a cost of 6.50 billion rupees. The existing state-owned Daporio Airport, Zero Airport, Along Airport, Tezu Airport and Pasighat Airport are small and are not in operation. The government has proposed to operationalize these airports. Before the state was connected by roads, these airstrips were originally used for the transportation of food. Roads. Arunachal Pradesh has two highways, the 336 kilometers, 209 miles National Highway 52, completed in 1998, which connects Jonai with Dirac, and another highway, which connects Tezpur in Assam with Tawang. Arunachal Pradesh State Transport Services or APSTS is the state-owned road transport corporation. APSTS is running daily bus services from Itanagar to most district headquarters including Tezpur, Guwahati in Assam and Shillong in Meghalaya as well as Dimapur in Nagaland. As of 2007, every village has been connected by road thanks to funding provided by the central government. Every small town has its own bus station and daily bus services are available. All places are connected to Assam, which has increased trading activity. An additional national highway is being constructed following the Stilwell Lado Road, which connects Lado in Assam to Jairampur in Arunachal. Work on the ambitious 2,400 kilometers, 1,500 miles, two-lane Trans Arunachal Highway project announced by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on the 31st of January 2008 on his maiden visit to the state was scheduled to be completed by 2015-16, but now due to political and social reasons, it may take another decade. New longest India bridge is already constructed because of Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the 28th of May 2017. In 2014, two major highways were proposed to be built in the state, East-West Industrial Corridor Highway, Arunachal Pradesh in the lower foothills of the state and 2,000 km long, 1,200 miles, Mago Thingbu to Vijayanagar Arunachal Pradesh Frontier Highway along the McMahon Line, alignment map of which can be seen here and here. Railway Arunachal Pradesh got its first railway line in late 2013 with the opening of the new link line from Harmuti on the main Rangpara North Merkongselic railway line to Naharlagan in Arunachal Pradesh. The construction of the 33 km 1,676 mm 5 feet 6 in broad gauge railway line was completed in 2012, and the link became operational after the gauge conversion of the main line from Assam. The state capital Itanagar was added to the Indian Railway map on 12 April 2014 via the newly built 20 km Harmuti Naharlagan Railway Line. When a train from Dekargan in Assam reached Naharlagan Railway Station, 10 km from the center of Itanagar, a total distance of 181 km. On 20 February 2015, the first through train was run from New Delhi to Naharlagan, flagged off from the capital by the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. India plans to eventually extend the railway to Tawang, near the border with China. Education The state government is expanding the relatively underdeveloped education system with the assistance of NGOs like Vivekananda Kendra, leading to a sharp improvement in the state's literacy rate. The main universities are the Rajiv Gandhi University formerly known as Arunachal University, under which come 36 institutions offering regular undergraduate courses as well as teacher education and health sciences and nursing degrees, both under governmental and private managements, Indira Gandhi Technological and Medical Sciences University and Himalayan University as well. 
The first college, Jawaharlal Nehru College, Pasighat, was established in 1964. The first technical university is established in 2014 namely Northeast Frontier Technical University, NEFTU. In AALO, West Siang District by the Automobile Society India, New Delhi. There is also a deemed university, the Northeastern Regional Institute of Science and Technology as well as the National Institute of Technology, Arunachal Pradesh, established on 18 August 2010, is located in Upia, headquarter of Itanagar. NERIST plays an important role in technical and management higher education. The Directorate of Technical Education conducts examinations yearly so that students who qualify can continue on to higher studies in other states. Of the above institutions, only the following institutions are accredited by NAAC, National Assessment and Accreditation Council, in the order of their grade, Jawaharlal Nehru College, Pasighat, Grade A, St. Claret College, 0, Grade A, Indira Gandhi Govt. College, Tezu, Grade B++, Rajiv Gandhi University, Grade B, National Institute of Technology, Arunachal Pradesh, Grade B, Dara Nadine Government College, Itanagar, Grade B, Govt. College, Bomdila, Grade B, Donyi Polo Govt. College, Kamki, Grade B, and Rang Fra Govt. College, Changeling, Grade C. There are also trust institutes, like Pali Vidyapith, run by Buddhists. They teach Pali and Kamthi scripts in addition to typical education subjects. Kamthi is the only tribe in Arunachal Pradesh that has its own script. Libraries of scriptures are in a number of places in Lohit district, the largest one being in Chaukam. The state has two polytechnic institutes, Rajiv Gandhi Government Polytechnic in Itanagar established in 2002 and Tomi Polytechnic College in Basar established in 2006. There is one law college called Arunachal Law Academy at Itanagar. The College of Horticulture and Forestry is affiliated to the Central Agricultural University, IMFAL. State symbols See also References External links Government official site of the Government of Arunachal Pradesh Official tourism site of Arunachal Pradesh, India General Information Arunachal Pradesh Encyclopedia Britannica Entry Arunachal Pradesh at Kurli Geographic data related to Arunachal Pradesh at OpenStreetMap